So they're all different types of orders. Day, GTC, market limit. So let's get into that. So day orders are what most people enter. It's a day order. It's good to the end of the day. And if you place the order at 2 p.m., no matter what, it's going to cancel at 4, no matter what. You could have, a, you place it at 9.35, and it's good for the rest of the day, but at 4 p.m., it automatically cancels. You don't have to do anything. It's going to happen already. Now, they have another thing called the GTC. GTC is good till canceled, okay? So it's good until you cancel. So if I place it at 10 in the morning, it's good until I actually call up and say cancel the damn thing. It could be for months, for however long you want to be at 4, but it will be in effect until you actually cancel it. So then they have market orders. What are market orders? Market orders are orders you place when you don't really care about price. You're not going to be stuck on price. You're saying, buy 1,000 shares. I don't care what price you get it. Just get the damn thing. And if you sell it, just get me out of the position. I'm not worried about price as much. Yeah, don't rip me off. But if I'm buying stock, I'll pay the ask. If I'm selling, I'll settle the bid. Then we have a limit order. A limit order is when you place a budget. You say, oh, I want to buy 1,000 shares at 42 I want to buy it at 42 or better, which means less. Like if you go to a store, you go to a flea market or something, and you negotiate, hey, I'll pay $100 for that chair. I don't want to pay more than that. So that's a limit order. You call up and say, oh, I want to buy IBM at 42. I wish IBM was at 42. But I want to buy it at 42. If it's trading at 4201, you will not buy it because your top price is 42. And if I want to go sell it at 50, I'm going to say I want to sell the IBM at 50, but no lower at 50 or higher or better. All limit orders are considered or better. Because if I say I want to sell my stock at 50 and I could sell it at 52, I'm happy. I will definitely do that because that's a better price. So I'm putting a budget on it when I do a limit order. I'm saying I want to buy it at a price not higher than that. I can change my mind anytime I want, but that's what it is. So when you do a market order, you're guaranteed execution because you don't care about price. With a limit order, you're not guaranteed because it may never trade at your price. You go into a store, I say I have a budget of 50 bucks for shoes. I go in there, all the shoes are over 50 bucks. Well, my budget was 50, so I'm not buying a shirt. Then we have the crazy orders. Now, the crazy ones are like IOC, immediate or cancel. That's like, okay, I wanna buy as much as I can at a price and then cancel it right away. So let's say I give you an order to buy 1,000 shares at 42, and there's only 600 shares offered. So you buy the 600 shares, and then you cancel the rest. So it's immediate or cancel. Pretty straightforward. Then we have an all or none. All or none is buy all of it or none of it. But I'll let you sit all day and try to do it. You don't have to cancel right away. Again, all or none is buy all of it or none of it. I can keep trying all day, but I still have to do the trade in one shot. In its entirety. Then we have fill or kill. Fill or kill. It's so aggressive. Fill it, which means sell the whole, sell or buy the entire amount. Or kill it means cancel it. So you're not going to accept a partial. So if I call up and I say I want to do a thousand shares at 42, fill or kill, and I can only buy 600, I go cancel it. I'm out. So fill or kill is like a combination of an all or none and immediate order. So I call it an immediate all or none order. Buy it all or buy none of it, but don't keep trying. One shot cancel. If you want more detailed stuff, check me out at Capital Advantage Tutoring on YouTube.